Alright guys, I can't remember if this was a regular leg day or a glute focus day, but uh, regardless I did some front squats just because I need to start incorporating them into my week, uh, at least once a week is what I, my goal is. Um, I started with 65 pounds, the next uh, view you'll see is uh, 85 and then 105, and you'll notice the heavier I get my form starts to break down a little bit, um, but I am trying to go below 90, um, focusing on keeping upright as, you know, as upright as possible without leaning forward, really engaging the quads, focusing on my quads, and it felt pretty good. Um, the back view, you'll see my knees, they kind of like torque out and then they'll um, kind of buckle in. It's coming up here in a second. And I feel like that's probably not great for your ankles or your knees, especially the heavier you get. You probably want to just go straight up and down, uh, more like in a linear fashion. But I'm just kind of wondering about my toes being pointed out, maybe too much. Maybe I need to bring them in a little bit more. Um, I feel like everybody can squat a little bit differently um, just to kind of do what's best for their body. Because we all kind of move a little differently. And our hips are built differently too. Yeah, so this is 105, a little heavy, and I'm kind of like moving to one side and stuff, so lots to work on. And then, yeah, no bueno. Okay, so these are Bulgarian uh, lunges, and I have 40 pounds on my back, I think. Focusing on trying to get pretty deep, pushing through my heel, engaging the glutes. Uh, I feel like I was going pretty fast. I don't, sometimes I just hit a pace and just go with it. But I feel like this would be really good for a hit exercise. Incorporating that with something else, you know. Combination of some different movements. Um, get your heart rate going because it definitely did. Um, another thing I wanted to point out here is that you'll notice, uh, especially on my left leg, um, for this angle and the other angle as well, uh, that my leg gets really swollen. When I work out my legs, um, you know, obviously the blood's going to rush to that area and it looks really swollen. So for competing and going on stage, I really make sure I don't do a whole lot. I'm not like working out my legs, trying to pump them up before I hop on stage because um, that's not what you want. You want to see a little bit more definition than you do, just puffiness. <laughs> um, here I'm kind of sacrificing my depth a little bit just to kind of get it over with because I think I was just done. <laughs> um, so that's that. And here, just a real quick clip of how puffy my leg is. <laughs> All right, this is today, Monday. Started off with a heavy leg day. Uh, trying to get in deep there, and I think I might be buckling my knees a little bit, so I'm going to try and watch that next time. My right leg looks like it might be right over my toes, but I don't know if it's just the angle my left leg looks like it might be buckling my knee. And my knees and my hips were really bothering me when I went on a run yesterday with my daughter, and so I'm kind of hoping I'm not hurting myself. But I do try and focus on my form just for that reason, to prevent injury. <laughs> so... But when you go heavy, um, your body needs to adapt to that, and I could just be sore and not really hurt, so we'll see. Also, my neck's been bothering me, so I'm trying to keep that neutral position. Here's my husband. Uh, he changed his workout schedule, so we're not really doing the same thing, but he's doing push-pull and leg day, and then um, brought in his own bar there so he could do a little more weight and change it up. He'll be at the Dallas Europa show. Go see him if you're there this weekend. I'm jealous. I want to go. Anyways, here's some deadlifts. Um, I'll leave you with this. I hope you'll see that my um, form is improving. And I hope you guys have a good Cinco de Mayo.